Hello everyone, my name is Lene and I'm currently a freshman right now. Um, I live in Parks and I am a SLP major, so speech language pathology, and I'm working to get a minor in counseling. Um, I'm from two and a half hours away, so that was a little hard for me to get adjusted the first couple of weeks, so I've never been away from home. So it was really hard for me to be away from my family. It really, but like after a while, it like felt really weird. It was just, it felt like um, a long summer camp. It's the best way for me to describe like being on campus. It like you constantly just think that you're gonna go back on the weekend, but you're like here all year. At least that was my experience. I don't know if other people felt that way. That might sound weird, but now I love college and um, I really like living in a dorm, especially Parks. I'm a little biased here, but I definitely feel like Parks is the best dorm for a freshman. I built a lot of great connections um, and definitely have got involved with Residence Hall Council. It's been a really great experience to just meet people from Parks and to help like plan events for Parks and stuff. Um, that was like one of my favorite organizations to be in. They make Monday nights great. I definitely recommend trying to be in Residence Hall Council. So, as you can see like in the frame a little bit, I have my fairy lights and a couple of Polaroid pictures and then I have my, um, my wall of pictures. So let me turn on the lights so you can see better. I just have my mask up here, my umbrella, and then I have a calendar and then just my fridge. And then my roommate brought her TV, so we have a TV and a TV stand right here. And then you get these, this big shelving unit, which is so nice. So I just keep laundry up there. Then I keep um, household supplies. Well, not really household supplies, but um, like toothpaste, stuff like that in there, extra soap. Um, there's some food in the second, on the third one. And then this is like my dishes. This is more like dishes. And then um, that's like beauty supplies. And then at the very bottom is cleaning supplies. Um, and then so this is what my bed looks like sorry i didn't make my bed it's really hard to make the bed when it's lofted and this is what the closet looks like this nice dresser and then there is two shelves i use all of my shoes for this side this shelf and then extra storage up here and then i just have all of my clothes um my bible and then another shelving unit. I have a mirror right here and then I have a shelving unit. Um, I just have my slippers right there and then yeah a little caddy. This is what my desk looks like. Let me push in a chair for you. I bought my own trash can down there. Um, and then I just have some pictures. I got the idea from Pinterest and most of the pictures are from Pinterest. There's a handful that I took myself but most of them are from Pinterest. This is definitely my favorite part of my room is like under my bed. Um, I do my homework under here and I think it's just really pretty with all the pictures. I keep getting compliments on it like all the time but yes I definitely say looking at Pinterest, um, YouTube videos definitely. Um, so I downloaded Facebook for the Utilita 2024 Facebook page and then I found like some I end up finding some groups um, about dorm stuff so there's this one group that really helps me get prepared for college and it's called dorm chatter I ask a lot of questions because a lot of them are like veteran parents who um, had multiple kids go through college and there's also college students in there too so they can help you with any questions that you have um, they definitely helped me a lot. A lot of them post with their kids dorms to give you ideas and stuff and that really helps me. Um, I just saved some of the pictures that I wanted to use as inspiration, so yeah. A fitness room. I haven't seen anyone use it this year because of COVID. If you've seen it, there's a little bit of equipment. This is a laundry room, so there's two places to sit. There's a lot of washers, a folding table, and a sink. And then here is all of the dryers. Multiple seating areas. A vending machine. And two sets of ping pong tables. And then if you go out here, 
we go to one of my favorite places and parks. There is a nice patio area. This is more seating over here. This is one of my other favorite places to sit and just hang out um, for residence hall council. We have all of our meetings right here. Then this is the printing room slash computer lab. So there's multiple computers in here that you can use for your classes. So every three floors starting from five has a kitchen. So five, eight, 11, and 14, there are 16 floors in the building. Um, so this is a lounge area. This is the kitchen. Um, so you get a sink, um, an oven and stove and then the microwave as well. A big, the big topic is roommates. So I know that some people pick their roommates based on people they were friends with from high school or just someone they knew from high school. I didn't know anyone going into Toledo. If you don't know one going into Toledo, um, I think that's okay. You can definitely do random selection. I haven't had a bad experience. My roommate, um, it's pretty chill. I really like my roommate. She's great. I My advice though for roommates, if you're worried about that, is to set your boundaries. So just talk about um, something that you expect. I feel like one of the biggest things is time for bed. Um, like obviously if you go to bed at like eight o'clock but your roommate goes to bed at two, you definitely wanna set something up and talk about that. Um, you also want to talk about like when your classes are so you won't be waking each other up. You want to definitely talk about guests. Your RA will also help you come up with the roommate contract like at some time during the um, first couple of months of school. But I definitely feel like that's something you should sit down and talk to your roommate about. Because once the situation arises, you can be like, okay, I addressed this instead of um, they're just like, oh, I didn't know you feel that way. So I would just like to thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can DM me on the um, Utilito 2024 Instagram page and I'll gladly answer any of your questions or if you just want to look at the page and look at some of the um, highlights, it'll, I feel like it will be really helpful. I know they helped me a lot and a lot of the um, incoming freshmen, well not incoming freshmen, but when they were incoming freshmen were just like, oh yeah, this is really helpful and I used it. So I definitely recommend um, just looking at the Instagram page and checking out some of the highlights if you have any questions. You can gladly DM me and I will gladly answer any questions that you have. Um, but yes, I would like to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon.